bad. If I The joys of life I have forsaken. Okay. What are you doing in this dungeon? I devote myself to solitary prayer, to confession and fasting. I have broken the lock. You can leave. But I choose to live this way. I am an anchoress. This is my entire life. Sealed up here. All day and night for life. It is an odd way to worship. I am at complete peace with the world. Can you say as much? How can you be at peace with the world if you live beyond its reach? I know the pain it can inflict. Come outside. Your guard won't be angry for just a few moments. Come. Come. I will follow you. If only to feel the grass beneath my feet. I will repent when I return. I came here after the dark times, pestilence and hunger, the death of my father. It has been years. I wonder what it will be like to once again feel a cool breeze, the warm sun, the scent of lavender. Ah, the world! It is so beautiful! The Earth's beauty renews us. Thank you, stranger! My life begins anew! Get back here!
I can't see. I did. No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name, Frown Horde. Quick the dead, whatever it may be, is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I left silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously. <laughs> There goes one of those. Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. ...in this room, and this settlement, and this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... ...I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride... ...to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby... ...for a change of pace. That sounds lovely... ...and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifertshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. Yes. I should join my brother, then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Sigurd's not here. I'll ask around. I'm looking for my brother, a large, outspoken Norseman. Norse? Huh. Was he part of the fight here? Probably killed by Edwin's soldiers. Get gone while you can. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, 
won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Fish house. Good spot to hide. I'm probably going to get jumped. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight. ...with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. I might have fucked that up. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature. For he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune no, sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. For Basil has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers, and well, there will be time enough for my saga later. 
I want to talk to you. Stop. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away. We'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. To hell with you! Uh, uh, Giedrich, uh, what have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Uh, I can still fight the uh, bastards! Lord, you fight well. Thank you for that. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where with... Where is she? Fain Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Bat him. Eivor, to horse! Off again, Eivor, you and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. I'm speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Yes, Sigurd. 
Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck would bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its lifeline into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. Wow. What the hell of a... You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you would take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. Spread your wings sooner. Gidrid sent me. Let's get away from this place. Safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Ultima for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. However deranged you might be, my brother wishes to meet her. The sooner you make this happen, the swifter this war will end. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. Like so many birds at winter's end, the Dane returns. Are you ready? I will take you on.
Happy to bet. Let us begin on your work. I hope you're ready. Would you battle a dragon? Then challenge me not. Oh, you're barely an insect. A fly that I'll swat. <laughs> Good! Keep it coming! I'm possessed of a strength that would scare off a bear. You're possessed of a baldness that scared off your hair. Great! I've the heart of a lion, the loins of a horse. Yeah. <laughs> you have the brain of a donkey to challenge a Norse. A good one, that. Let me end now by saying you think you are a beast. You declare you're the most, but I've found you're the least. Ooh. Huh. Sharp as an eagle's talons. You've earned your winnings today. Brave with one of those. Okay. You can't hide from me! Great, the kid's talking to fish. Who are you yelling at? I see no one. My brother, he's right in there. A goblin turned him into a fish. A goblin turned him into a fish. He won't come out of the water to do his chores. Mom's gonna be so angry. Oh, whatever will I do? I've gotta get him out of that pond. It won't be easy. He's mean and slippery. You're no help. My brother is swim... ...around this pond. Lots of hungry fish here. Yeah. I'm not convinced at all that your brother is under a goblin's spell. Keep fishing! I've got treats for you, Walter. Worms and such. Brother looks pretty healthy for a fish. We thought it would be fun to get someone else to do the fishing for us. So you fooled me. And it worked. If you like, you could leave us the fish anyway. We'll swap them for brittle at the market. Walter, we got the fish. Thank you, stranger. Jerks. Get 
Let's August finish it one class, please. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Idrich. Avo, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Giedrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. Okay. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Worst is, I've broken bread with them and they've come trading. And they're